Okay, flipping things in a pan. <clears throat> you don't know how many times I hear people say, I try to flip things in a pan, I can never figure it out. And uh, this happens quite often. Sometimes people get lucky with it and they, fig they actually eventually figure it out. Most of the time they try flipping and things wind up on the ceiling, on the stove top, on the floor, what have you, and they give up. But you don't need to give up. The thing about flipping is this. You need to practice. And so I went to two culinary schools and when I was much younger I went to one and they actually showed us how to practice this in an easy way and I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you need is a pan and you see this pan right here. Next thing you need is, believe it or not, a piece of toast. So I just took a piece of bread, uh, Dave's bread that we love, and I stuck it in the toaster and I toasted it so it's nice and brittle. Then, then you're going to put it into the pan and you're going to learn the technique on it. You're going to continue to do it. I don't care if you have to do it 50 times to figure out what it is that the certain angles, how much torque you need on it to figure it out. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start with this. Now when your people flip, they first start, they try to flip like this, where it's, where it's level. It doesn't work. He, uh, some people can because they're so well trained at it, but you don't want to do that. You want to have it down slightly. You'll see how my pan is down like that. You don't want it down too far, but you want it down a little bit. It makes it easier. Then you're going to move things forward, and then you have to flip it. Okay, so that's there. And, oh, didn't work, did it? Why? Because I was uh, a little tentative in my flipping. People start thinking, oh my God, I'm going to flip something and it's going to wind up going everywhere. So they kind of stop partway through. You'll get to the point where you will quit doing that. And I'll show you how. Okay, that's one, two, three, oops, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So you see the pan, it's down. You see the toast, it's flipping. So you have to, you you think you have to be really calm with it, but when it gets down near the end, you have to do a quick jerking motion. That causes it to flip over and come back to you. I guarantee you, if you practice this way and you take some toast do it many many times then you are going to be able to flip eggs you're going to be able to flip stir fries you're going to be able to flip pretty much anything it's all about getting it into your brain and your brain has to has to feel it and you have to be confident that when you take that pan and you go to turn it over and you flip that the product is going to come back. Now, does that mean it's always going to come back perfectly? No. Sometimes I will flip it and it will get halfway over if I'm making eggs of some sort. If I'm making something that, that's kind of runny. So, at the same time that you're flipping, if you if you have an item like that, you flip it, but you have to be aware where your pan is so that if you see that it's coming back and it's not coming back in the proper position, you can move the pan to try to catch it. So we used to, they used to take this and, and make us, make us just stand there looking like idiots, taking a pan like this. And of course, we as budding chefs turned, we're thinking, oh my God, I've learned this. I don't need, I, I did it 10 times. I don't need to do it any more than that. But you need to do it more than that. You need to do it as many times as you can. And you need to do it more than one time. You need to practice it one day practice it another day. It's just a piece of toast. You can eat the piece of toast after you're done with it because you have a clean pan. But the key is getting the motion down and getting it into your brain so that your brain knows when it has food in there that you're going to do the same type of action. And that's how you learn how to flip anything. So that's that. I hope that's been helpful and I'm going to be showing you how to make some other type of things as we go along and 
where I'm going to need to be able to do that. Now you can always just stand there with a with a with a spatula underneath and and flip it. But if you really want to learn how to flip and how to be able to do that at times, then you need to practice. They always say practice makes perfect. Just practice. And if you have any questions, just uh, put them down in, a, in the comment area, and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.